Hey, welcome back to Complete Growing. Today we're going to show you all the little tricks and tips, a lot of them you'll know, some you won't know, about seeding, um, germination, starting all your seeds, and I'm hoping to figure out how to reseed a receding hairline. But anyway, back to basics, let's go. My germinating seeds have been around forever and everybody knows if you soak them, they'll you know, germinate faster, etc. Hopefully there'll be some things you don't know on this video. Hey, if there's anything that you have found that works well, let us know in the comment section. Okay, at the end of the video, I am going to show you the secret weapon for the very, very stubborn seeds that don't like to germinate very well. It takes forever. This actually will break their dormancy gonna have to watch to the end. First up is what seeds do you want to get? What do you like to eat first you know? Unless you're gonna do it for profit find out what the market is. There's a lot of great seed companies out there like Gurney's, Baker Creek, Park Seed, Johnny Seeds, Burpee and not just baby seeds on that one and more but eventually you might want to just do your own seeds just make sure it's not from a hybrid plant. You never know what you're gonna get. All right, some seeds are really easy to get started. Things like lettuces and spinaches and things like that. I mean, they come up in just a couple days and you can't hardly do it wrong. We're going to be using different types of medium and see which ones work the best for which types of seeds. Uh, we can do a whole experiment on all this, but we're gonna show you all the different mediums and also a way to inoculate your seed and have them start faster by using hydrogen peroxide. All right, there's uh, two kinds of hydrogen peroxide. Well, actually, there's only one kind. It's just uh, different concentrations. There's 3% and up to 35%. Now, we use one and a half teaspoons per cup of water for that 3%. Now, if you're doing a lot, actually, I would suggest this for anybody who's growing a lot because it's useful for a lot of things. It's food grade. It's a 35%. It is a little dangerous. If you get it on, you... Um, straight you get a little white burn it'll burn for a while it will go away I'd show you but I'd probably get complaints by people watching and they give me comments and go you shouldn't do that but anyway so I won't do it um, so we're gonna mix that now all right so we've just poured a cup of water we're going to put in one and a half teaspoons of that three percent solution handy dandy little teaspoon that comes in with the master blend from uh, complete growing well, anyway, we'll do that, one and a half. There's the one. And on the other side is a half. It's super handy. Whether you use it for growing or not, it's great. Let's run a little bit. And we're ready to go. There's a couple ways to uh, pre-treat the seeds with the hydrogen peroxide mixture that you made. Um, one way is just to soak them and we're using a ice cube tray because for all the different seeds we want to keep them separate be kind of a pain to try to separate them out make a map of what you got in here or else it'll be like Christmas when you go to you know plant them and see what comes up so after you got the water in just throw as many seeds in that you're going to use don't do any more than you're going to use into each one I'm going to do some beans and some cucumbers and probably some spinach. Anyway, just keep them marked on a piece of paper again what kinds they are. Just write it out. You can let this sit then for about four hours. I will not put a cover on it though, you know, in between. Let it sit for about four hours, rinse them off with water, dry them off, and then they will be ready to go. Another way to pre-treat the seeds is you just get a sieve or um, piece of cloth or anything put the seeds in this is just easier to get them out pour your mixture into a little bowl this was a little big and you can just soak them in that and you don't have to do it for more than just oh five ten minutes now that will get all the bacteria off etc and it will make them sprout faster four hours fine this fine as you see there's quite the difference so anywhere in between there you're gonna be good to go longer 
I think they'll go faster. We had some pepper seeds that actually sprouted in just a day, and you know how bell peppers, they take a while. And it was just a day, and it was amazing that they already sprouted. So anyway, that's the two ways. Again, now when you take them out, rinse them with clean water, and then plant them immediately. All right, the different mediums we're gonna use, not large or extra large, I knew you are gonna go there, but the different mediums we're using is rock wool, the rapid rooters, perlite, cocoa core, a potting soil, and just plain old little pea gravel or fish tank gravel. They all work. Some work better for different seeds, and we're going to do a whole experiment on this. That video won't be for a couple more weeks, and then we'll see exactly which seeds work the best in the different mediums. All right, first one, rock wool cubes. First, you want to pre-soak these in a mild uh, nutrient solution. We're using uh, Master Blend, and it's one-fifth of a teaspoon for a half a gallon of water. So this will last you a long time. It's probably the most uh, efficient way and cheapest way to do a lot of your nutrients. So that's Master Blend. All right, so we've got our nutrient mixed. It looks like a, a weak Mountain Dew, but it's really not. Let me taste it. No, I don't think so. Um, so we're going to soak the rock wool cube in it, squeeze out the excess, put it in our tray, and I'm going to do that with each one of these. Next one is Rapid Rooter. I mean, we've had success with all of these. Okay, so this one, Rapid Rooter, same thing. Soak this in a little bit of the nutrient solution again, squeeze it out a bit, put the seed in the hole, just cover it up a little bit with whatever and put it in, and you're ready to go with that one. All right, next is perlite. Perlite's a cool stuff. It's a really lightweight. You can look it up. It's, it's really great. It's sterile. It's neutral. We've had incredible luck with, especially the smaller seeds in the perlite. Um, water it down with a light nutrient solution after you seed it. And it, it's good. That's that. It works really well. Next we have is a coconut core. It's got just a little bit of perlite in, and uh, it works really well. Again, it is a sterile, neutral type medium. Again, once you plant your seeds in there, go ahead and, and water it in with that light nutrient solution. Now, if you're using potting soil or soil from the garden or whatever. Make sure that you don't bring any diseases, and you can do that by pre-treating it in a hydrogen peroxide solution. We'll cover that in a whole other video. But you can pre-treat it, and then just plant your seeds in, and you're good. We've had pretty good luck with just using pea gravel or a fish tank gravel. That really works best with the smaller seeds. Those are the ones that, in other videos, you see me just sprinkle in and rub it around and then spray it down with the spray bottle. Um, it works well. Um, so anyway, that's just all of the different mediums we're using right here. There's also peat moss and the little peat uh, pellets and all that. They all are the same. Just make sure that you have them in a controlled environment if you want to have them sprout fast. Um, keep them about all of Everything is really good around 77 degrees. Okay, now you've got them all planted. Now each seed on the package tells you how deep and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Next step is to put them on a heat mat or in a room that's warm. We don't like to keep it that warm in our house. Anyway, 77 degrees is a real good temperature for, for just about every seed um, for the fastest germination. These little heat mats will get them about 10 degrees warmer than your house or whatever room you're in keeps them nice and even. So you put that under there, put it on, then put a cover, keep the moisture in. They are called humidity covers actually. With the heat underneath, keeps them moist and you'll be surprised how fast everything will come up. Okay, in previous videos you probably saw me do um, seeding and something like this, just a shoe box with either the pea gravel or the perlite. The little, little seeds are just a pain I'm, and I'm not real patient so I just grab some seeds I throw them in here rub them around a little bit spray them down with a spray bottle you can put this on a heat mat they don't need as much heat as some of the larger seeds so this one would probably just be fine 
things germinate really quick this way, then you can take them out and transplant them where you need them. Okay, as promised, the secret weapon for those stubborn seeds. So there's certain seeds like papaya, we've had a hard time with um, lavender. That's been a tough one. So for lavender seeds to smaller seeds like that, potassium nitrate, one quarter teaspoon, and again, we can use the teaspoon out of the nutrient pack. One quarter teaspoon in a cup of water. Soaked for about four hours. will soften that outside of the seed and break it out of its dormancy. Now, if we're using, okay, the, uh, the papayas, which are hard, tough, big seeds, and we have some here from some of our papayas that we've grown. And I need to do those now. You actually do a full tablespoon in a cup of water. So we have a tablespoon. I'll do a little less than that because I already put the quarter in there. And that goes in. Hey, it doubles as a mixing. Okay. So we've got potassium nitrate. It will soften that outer of the seed. It will break it out of its dormancy. And they will work. You've done it. Throw some in there. And let them soak for about four hours. Well, that's it for now. Hope some of this was helpful. So if you've got any questions or ideas or anything, leave them on our comment section and we will see you soon. At Complete Growing, we keep it simple, we keep it sustainable, we keep it affordable, and most of all, we keep it real. So join our growing community by subscribing and clicking on that notification bell because you don't want to miss a thing.